Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you are able to run multiple instances of Roblox on the same computer without them crashing each other. When you attempt to play two accounts of Roblox at the same time, what will actually happen is the second account that you log into will just completely close out the first account. But there are a few ways around this. The method that I like to use is an app called Multiple Game Instance. I've been using this for about a year, year and a half or so now, and honestly, there have been no problems. I've been able to run up to 10 accounts on the same PC at the same time without really seeing any kind of strain on my PC or computer. Granted, I have a beefier PC build, so it could be slightly different for you depending on if you're playing on a desktop PC or if you're playing on a laptop. But as you can see here, I have four games of PetSim playing right now. I have three of them hatching and one of them that's just kind of AFK. Before I get into the tutorial, what I'll say is there is a few different things that you can do with this in terms of like min-maxing how to play Pet Simulator as well as other simulator games too. A lot of the time what I'll do, if there's things that that I want to do in the game like if I want to go sell in the trading plaza what I'll do is I'll have this account just sit in the trading plaza 24 7 and then I'll just send items or pets through the mailbox to this account just so that way I can keep the main account and any accounts that I have game passes on always constantly being as efficient as possible constantly hatching for the best egg for the new huges especially during huge parties but an incredibly huge reason as to why I think you guys should follow these steps and run multiple accounts as soon as possible especially if you already have alt accounts that you switch between is because in exactly nine and a half hours you're going to be getting the tech world update to pet simulator 99 and that introduces the huge happy computer this is an incredibly easy huge pet that's going to be available only for a limited time just like the huge hell rock and the huge happy rocks there's going to be 1 million total and once those 1 million are hatched they are going to be limited and capped off meaning that you are not able to hatch them anymore so by running multiple instances of roblox you have double triple or quadruple the chance and that can go up to 10 plus accounts all at the same time giving you the best chance to be able to get a hands on a free to play huge pet now again i will say before we dive into exactly how we install this application Again, I would like to advise parents, if you're watching this, if kids are downloading this on your parents' PC or laptop, do advise and please be careful when you are downloading from certain websites, especially the one that I'm going to be showing you on screen today, because there are going to be a lot of advertisements on the side and in and around on the website that advertise quote unquote download now, but be very cautious about this because a lot of those advertisements are just either going to take you to a completely different website or they're going to try to install a different application entirely. Proceed with caution here. Parents, if you're watching this, just make sure you keep an eye on whatever your kid is doing, laptop, iPad, or PC. Now, with that being said, what we are going to do is this is the website. It will be in the description link down below. It is from We Are Devs. Now, I don't really think that this counts as an exploit or a script. And I know that some people have claimed that this is bannable, but it's never come to my attention that it is bannable. And I know a few people who use it and have run into zero problems over years of using it. But essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to go to down to the description below. You're going to go to the link down below in the description. You're going to click on it but while you're at it you may as well hit the subscribe button since you're already right there it's only a click away from the screen but what you're going to do is you're going to hit this green download now button now this is going to be very easy to do you're just going to hit this button i don't have to it's just going to pop up in your downloads in the top right or whatever browser you're using and once you hit the download now button you're going to go to your download folders in your file explorer and you're going to double click the installer for this application again as i've said i don't have to since i have already installed this application so just again, be sure that you follow the steps and as well pay attention to how you actually operate the application. Very carefully listen to these steps because if you do not listen to these steps, you will run into problems 100%. So please just watch the whole thing just to make sure you have zero hiccups and you can do this flawlessly every single time. But there are some key instructions that we need to go over when it comes down to actually running this application. There are a few rules that you have to follow and if you don't follow them exactly, you will run into problems and it is very tedious if I do say so myself. But once you get it up and running and you understand all of the rules of the process, it's going to be easy as can be. Rule number one is before you launch Roblox, before you launch any instance of the game, this application needs to be open. That means before you even try to run all of these instances, before you try to log in on everything, you need to have these completely closed. So if we're going to do this, we're going to close everything out. And I'm going to do this completely from scratch just to show you guys exactly the process. So we have a completely blank desktop here. There's nothing else going on. But what we are going to do is we're going to click on the application, the multiple Roblox gaming instance, and it's just going to launch. Give it a few seconds before you start jumping to every single account. I have run into the issue where if you do it too quick, it doesn't detect that this application is running. When you do log into multiple accounts, it's just like you're running without this application. But what we're going to do, we're going to go here. We're going to type in Roblox 
and then we are going to go to the, whatever game you want this applies to games outside of pet simulator but my preferred game is pet simulator 99 so we are going to hit play and we're going to join my private server and there is our first game instance but now we are going to go to our second one. This is an incredibly important detail. How you have multiple accounts, but still on the same PC is you log into the different accounts on different web browsers. So that way you're not constantly having to log in, log out and switch everything around. So you have them kind of organized to like your main one is on your primary browser. Your alt account is on the secondary browser. For me, I personally use Opera GX is my main browser, not sponsored. Firefox is my secondary. Microsoft Edge is my third account. And Vivaldi is my fourth account. Those are the four accounts that I currently have running. And those are all always logged in on those with two-factor authentication. I highly suggest that you guys run two-factor authentication just to make sure that your accounts are as safe as can be. But as you can see, I'm now joining in the second game that is from the Firefox browser. Now, if you see, it disappeared. Where did it go? Because it's not on the main screen. It's on neither of my other monitors. Typically, what it will do is it will take place behind the current window that you have open. So just be wary of that because it may be like, where did it go? I don't know. It's probably going to be behind the one that you just have open. So now we have two accounts running on the same thing. But just to prove the point, we are going to open up a third. There we go. Third account is up and running. And let's go ahead and run the fourth. So we're going to click this, go to servers and join up here. All right, and there we go. That is everything that you need to know about how to actually run these accounts. Now, what are some of the problems or troubleshooting issues that I've run into? Because again, this isn't always perfect. This isn't gonna work 100% of the time because there are going to be instances where, you know, internet connectivity happens where you completely just DC from the game, uh, completely DC from the server, or if there's an update that's going on specifically like a new world update. How do you prepare for these things? A major part of this process is you always have to understand the order of operations of how to run this application. And no, I'm not talking about math. The order of operations should always go. Run the application and give it a minute or two before you log into the, one of the accounts. And then once you do that, just slowly start logging in onto everything. Don't go super quick because honestly, every time that I've gone super quick, I've always run into issues issues of connectivity problems or just getting booted from the server just because the application is not detecting the multiple instances of Roblox. The benefit of having all of these accounts running at the same time is if I really wanted to, I could just hatch 24 seven. I can just hatch 24 seven, have an auto clicker, just run through all of these. And I'm always constantly there. I'm able to go to sleep and it's still hatching for huges overnight. That's actually how I've gotten a lot of my huges in this game so far. But with that being said, that's pretty much everything that I've ran into in terms of problems with the application. Honestly, just shutting everything down, closing the application, or just straight up restarting your PC. If you run this for a few days on end, you will run into some issues just in terms of restricted area to the trading plaza or, you know, mini games, etc. Stuff like that will happen. If it's been a few days, I would suggest just restarting the PC just to be safe. But let's say if you're in the situation where you do not have the luxury of being able to install this application your parents say that you're not allowed to because it looks like a sketchy website which i completely understand and hey i don't blame you there is another way to run at least there is another way to safely run at least two accounts at the same time which combined with this method actually does allow you to kind of run five accounts but if you notice here when i type roblox in there's Roblox and then there's Roblox player these are two completely different applications but they're the same Roblox, if I'm not mistaken, when I click this, this is the Roblox application that you get from the Microsoft Store. And if you can see here, I actually don't use this anymore. I used to before I found out about this. So we will have to upgrade to the latest version. So what we're going to do, just kind of show you, we'll go to the Microsoft Store and I'll show you exactly where it is. Because this is probably the easiest method in terms of running it and probably the safest as well. Although I've been using this multi-game instance Roblox application, I haven't run into any major issues in terms of like compromisation of my PC any like private files or anything like that there hasn't been any like digging or crypto mining like there's there's nothing beyond it's just an application that works for its sole purpose which is really nice but if we just look here we type in roblox the first one that's going to come up is this one right here now i need to upgrade mine so i need to update it so if you don't have this installed it's not going to say play or update it's just going to say install the application what you're going to do is hit install i'm just going to hit update and it might bring you to this update manager right here for your library when you click it 
and it's just going to have you go through the list. It's going to have all these items and accessories and applications. You just want to go ahead and find Roblox. For me, it was at the very bottom of the list, but once you hit the update button right here, it should go up to the top, and it looks like it's already completed if we go try to find it. And there we are. Now we have a whole second account that we can run. This is currently signed into my girlfriend's account, which I do use externally, but if I do want a fifth account, I can run it here too. And this is completely safe. There's no issues of it. There's no potential of getting banned from this. So if you guys want to do this and you guys want to min-max to try to get as many huge pets as you want, or if you're playing other Roblox games and you just want to be able to maximize your efficiency, this is by far the absolute best way to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I think the process is incredibly simple and very easy to follow. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like the video and let me know if you run into any problems. I'll try to help you guys troubleshoot in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Che and I'll see you guys next time. Later.